I'm coming to you from Chicago, the ancestral homeland of multiple tribes, including the Odawa, Ojibwe, and Potawatomi tribes, and which is still home to the third largest native population in the U.S. today. I'm Ray Briggs. I'm the author of Free Logic, which I published under a different name, but here I am, same poet. And I'm going to read you the title poem, Free Logic. Last week, we learned the logic of the gap-toothed pond, the rotting log, the flip-foot tadpole, halfway frog, the muddy, half-unknitted glove, the grackle, neither black nor green, but somewhere in between. This week, it's things that don't exist. We'll start in slow with Santa Claus, or St. Bernard's with purple paws. Although the things that don't exist peel off like paint from those that do, they have a logic too. Some of them are solid as the marathon you might have run, the ache, the way your sneakers spun, heel over heel, or else the jazz guitar you might have learned to pluck, or else your winning luck. They breed beneath the grackle glow, where aspen leaf and ostrich frond knit sweaters for the gap-toothed pond. The tadpole tail swims off to nowhere. The wood falls off in barky bits. The glove unknits. <laughs>